everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura. Thanks for joining me. This is my week 18 update on my OMAD journey, one meal a day, trying to lose at least 50 pounds by August this year for my birthday. So where am I at? What's been going on and how have things been this last week? Let me just tell you, before we jump into the weigh-in, I want to give you a little bit about what's going on and why I'm outside right now. <laughs> I was getting set up in the house to get ready to do this short video and I walked outside and I saw this. I just walked outside and I was wondering why all my girls were hiding. And look what's over there on the fence. Y'all see that boys and girls? That right there will kill your chicken in a heartbeat. Look at him. Oh yeah. He apparently has now spotted my babies out here. So I got the little girls out here in their pen. I was wondering why all my girls were up under their pen, scared to death. Uh-huh. That is why. Chicken hawks. They love, they love prowling around my backyard. It's okay, girls. He's gone for the moment. Yep. As soon as he flew off, look, they're now starting to wander back out. My poor girls bad chicken hawk <laughs> so now I'm like hmm, maybe I'm just gonna do this video outside just for a few minutes keep a little eye on my little girls back there <laughs> so that's why we're outside and if the winds too loud I'm sorry in advance because it does get breezy here and there anyways let's jump in on what happened on week 18 so last week as you guys know I lost a total of 2.2 but it was only a 0.8 down from my lowest weight so this week I was going to try to do a little better. I have been working on my mindset and my exercise being consistent with that because the last month my life has been insane and I wasn't doing so well with the mindset and where I was in life. So this week I had set a sm another small goal trying to eat more at home. Well, let's just say that did not happen. The social butterfly part had come out again and I really have to reel that in and stop all the running and going because it is hindering my weight loss. I can see a huge difference in my weight loss right now and I know it's from what I'm eating, what I'm drinking, and all the social butterfly socializing. <laughs> so that has got to come to a stop. So last week when I weighed in with you guys, I was 190.0, right on the nose. Like I said, a 0.8 down from the week before and not bad. I took it, I'm happy with that. At least I'm back down. So this week I was consistent with the exercise. I walked seven straight days again. So I am at like, today is day 16. I have walked every single day this month of May. I have done a 5K. I'm walking every single morning which I think is what is helping me with my weight right now, honestly. It's the only thing I can think of that actually is probably keeping me going in the right direction. I did bike ride four times. I did not do any skating this week. Didn't have time for it actually, <laughs> but I did stay consistent with exercise. So when I weighed in this morning, I was 189.0. So I have lost one pound. I will take it, but I know that's not really what I could have lost. And we'll get into what happened this week and what I ate and what I drank and what all went on. And you'll see why I'm lucky I lost a pound. <sighs> now, the small goal I set of eating at home more would have helped if I would have eaten at home, <laughs> but I didn't. I think I ate two days at my house one day I did eat at my aunt's house. So we'll say three days of home cooking. The other days it was eating out. Now, this was my daughter's birthday week. I will say that. And we did do a lot of things that we normally wouldn't have done because it was her birthday. And since she really can't stay out for long periods of time, we did several small things through the week. So let's get into what happened with me this week. Monday, hey, I cooked and I ate at home. I made beef tacos, which was a taco bake. And um, I ate that on Monday and I also ate the same thing on Wednesday. So those were my two meals at home that I did eat. I didn't go and do anything Monday other than exercise. I was sort of having a down day. So 
so Tuesday I ate pie pies chicken not what I wanted but it was my daughter's birthday and we had gone out and she had gotten several different things for her birthday Starbucks and um, nothing but cakes which is one of her favorite things and we also stopped off at marble slab now i did get an ice cream at marble slab and on the way home we stopped off and got popeye's chicken so my eating window was longer that day too instead of the normal hour it was probably two hours on that day because as soon as we ate the marble slab we got chicken sort of had our dessert first which we do that a lot anyhow so nothing big there so yes i had chicken tenders and mashed potatoes and um a biscuit yeah wasn't that great honestly I'm, I'm just not a big chicken fan anyhow especially after the week i've had but another story um that was tuesday wednesday candace and i went to the heights in houston and we did something that neither one of us had ever tried before we rode the pedigo electric bikes they go up to 20 miles an hour and let me tell you they kick in and take off you don't even have to pedal. It'll keep going. You just hit the lever and it'll just keep on going. We were both a little intimidated at first and a little scared, but after a while we sort of caught on and I was bold enough to get up to a little over 18 miles an hour, never hit the 20 mark. <laughs> after that, I was like, okay, that's enough. <laughs> but we did that. We had a blast, had a great time. So after we finished riding the bikes, there was a little ice cream shop next door. And we were hot and sweaty, so we went in and got some sorbet. So I did have a small cup of strawberry lemonade sorbet. So I will say, even though I stuck to technically one meal a day, there were three days that I had a longer eating window. I did have the sorbet there, and I think my window was open probably four or six hours each time. After there, we went to splatter painting. That was interesting. I've done painting with the twist before where you go in and paint your own little picture or whatever. This was sort of similar, but with a twist, <laughs> you got to go in this room and literally take paint and splatter whatever you just designed and hence splatter paint. So we got all dressed up in these ponchos and hats and <laughs> booties on our feet. <laughs> they were hot oh my gosh I couldn't wait to get out of them and if you know me I'm not normally hot but those little plastic things were extremely hot so we splattered our little paint had fun there after we left there I came home ate my one meal so that's why I say my window was open wider so Thursday comes around guys I had happy hour Thursday evening with a group of my friends I worked with some one of my friends that had actually worked with me three years ago moved off she just moved back so she came it was so good to see her so there was about seven of us that just went for happy hour and they had food trucks there so i ate there for my one meal a day and had a couple of drinks i had two raspberry margaritas and two pink lemonades along with a brisket slider i forgot to take a picture of my meal i was having so much fun so i took a picture of my friend's meal which looked sort of very similar to mine except i had two little sliders and she had one i think cheeseburger so i'm putting her picture in i had two brisket sliders instead of the cheeseburger but fries included so that was my meal for thursday not the greatest but man it tasted good <laughs> friday comes around I had a lot of stuff I was doing here at the house to get prepared for the weekend because we had an extremely busy weekend. So I didn't go anywhere Friday, but I did. we did order out. We had chilies Friday. Um, I did have a cup of chili with a big mouth burger and fries. I did not eat the top bun. I just ate the bottom with the meat and lettuce and stuff. I know it probably didn't save me much carbs, but it was just a lot of extra bun i just didn't need it because i had the chili too so i was like chunk the bun ate the chili and the the fries <laughs> again my eating's horrible right now um so that was friday saturday we got up super early went and drove almost four hours to my aunt's house she was turning 84 years old and she wanted a birthday party this year <laughs> it was so cute but all of her family her boys and grandkids it's my mom's sister and there's only three of them left. Um, 
she is the oldest, my aunt Dorothy is the oldest, then my mom, and then my uncle Dean. And so out of the six siblings, it's just the three of them left. So all three of them were together. It's been a long time since they've been together. And it was just so good seeing so many of the family. So there they had shrimp gumbo, some potato salad, green bean casserole. So I ate a little bit of that and also ate some cookie cake. So that was my meal for Saturday. Didn't feel like I really ate that much. I didn't even finish the shrimp gumbo. I just, I don't know. I was just wasn't in the mood to eat that day. I didn't feel real, real well, but it could have been, I was really tired from the week and a lot of driving. And by the time we drove four hours back home that night, I was exhausted. So it was a long day on Saturday. Sunday, we get up. I had some chores around the house to do because I know we had another big day planned on Sunday. A couple of friends of mine and my daughter went to um, a place called Goodson's and had lunch before we went out to a concert at the winery in Plantersville. Now I've been there, it's been a couple years since we've been there and I've been dying to go back. Absolutely love the Bernhardt Winery. It is the coolest little place and they have concerts in the evening. So, so quaint, I love it. Some of their wines are pretty decent. You know, I like sweet wines. They have a lot of different sweet wines. So I told my daughter if we ever went, decided to go back, I wanted to take her. Of course, we didn't know she was gonna have a broken leg in the process of all this, but it's okay, we made it and it, we had a blast. But we had lunch before we went, so another day my window was open really wide. Um, I think we ate lunch around one or so, and then on the way up, we realized we were gonna get there way too early. So we stopped off at this little distillery place. I'm not a beer drinker, don't care anything for beer, but one of the ladies found it and said, let's just stop off. They had this great outdoor seating area. And while we were there, a DJ came and set up and he brought everybody bingo cards. We played music bingo. This was like the best thing ever. I have never even heard of music bingo, but literally it's like regular bingo, but it has different um, names of songs in the bingo spots and he would play a clip of the song. And if you had that song, you marked it off. And you, if you didn't have it, you didn't have it. If you didn't recognize it, snooze you lose type thing. It was so much fun. Each bingo card was a different thing. Like there was one for 90s, there was one for um, cover bands or al album covers, album covers. Um, another one was um, One Hit Wonders. I mean, it was a blast. So. Like I said, we cheated a couple of times because when we didn't recognize something, we did the, hey Siri, find this <laughs> and let her tell us what the song was. But it was so much fun. I would rather play that bingo than regular bingo. It was a blast. Of course, if it's music, I know. If they did something probably from, you know, the, oh, I probably would know the 50s and 60s too. Yeah, I think I would regular have that than regular bingo <laughs> any day. <laughs> So we stayed there for a couple hours till the winery opened, drove on up to the winery and got our seats. We had reserved a table, got down there and I went and got a couple of um, bottles of wine and some waters for everybody. And I had a few glasses of wine after that. So I think we left there at like 8.30. So from one to eight-ish, if you consider, I mean, I do say the window was open because I was drinking wine at that time, even though I wasn't eating food, I had a couple glasses of wine. So. My windows were wide open three or more days this week. I really like to keep my eating window to about an hour and that's it. But this was a different week with the birthday and happy hour and everything. So it's time for me to slow down on this social life of mine. <laughs> this week is totally gonna be different. There's gonna be no socializing this week because I've got a out of state trip two different states actually. I leave tomorrow and I won't be home till Friday. So I will be in South Dakota and North Dakota on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So I'm going alone. I will be sticking hard to my one meal a day. And it's easier for me when I travel alone to, to stick to my diet plans and eat right. So hopefully this week I will do much better in the weight loss department because there's gonna be no extra <laughs> things for Laura to get into <laughs> and no, no, uh, peer pressure because I cannot, I cannot stand, I cave. I am just no good at that train. So, oh, I almost forgot Sunday at Goodson's, I ate chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, um, mac and cheese 
and a um, Texas tea. Here comes the train again. This is why I don't do videos outside much because we live close to the train track and they are constantly coming through here blowing like madmen. And I hear him getting closer. <laughs> so another thing I did this week was I ordered a couple of books. I've been watching a lot of Fasting Foodie and she has suggested Jen Stevens' Fast Feast and Repeat. So I ordered it along with Dr. Jason Fung's Obesity, The Obesity Code. Um, so I'm going to try to start reading these guys and get some more knowledge and just see what, I mean, she's, she's raved about both of them. So I'm going to check them out. So that was one of the things I did this week. And another thing I wanted to pass on to you guys, I don't know if y'all have ever heard of this woman, but I found her last night. Lisa Fisher is her name. She does podcasts and she interviews other people. And I think her channel is literally called Lisa Fisher Said. <laughs> she might be somebody you might be interested in watching. She has, she interviews a lot of people about their weight loss journeys and I'm just really enjoying that right now. I'm still binge watching a lot of weight loss journeys cause it just, it does, it keeps me motivated. It keeps me going. She interviewed a lady named Megan Krenzenbeck. So when Lisa was interviewing Megan, Megan had made a statement and it caught my attention. She says that she keeps a notebook where she writes down every single off-scale victory. She has a list of like 200 of them. And I thought, you know, what a great idea that is. Because when you stall out on the scale or it's just not moving, what a great idea just to go flip through your book and start looking at all the things you have accomplished. You know, Lisa, I mean, sorry, uh, Megan had said like she, some of hers were, you know, I was able to breathe still when I clipped my toenails. <laughs> I thought that's funny because I know bending over, <laughs> sometimes I could not breathe. <laughs> and she said, oh, I didn't hold the wall this morning when I put my underwear on. <laughs> she was cracking me up. But it's all things that we've been there and done. Write it down, even the littlest, tiniest thing. Write that non-scale victory down to remind you when you're going through the hard times. What a great thing that was. So I started thinking about mine. So I'm just gonna say, I always, guys, I'm burning up out here, it's hot. Um, my blood pressure for years has ran high and I refuse to take medicines. I'm just a hard-headed person. I don't like any kind of medication and so I just won't take them. And normally my blood pressure runs anywhere from 130 something over 90 something. And that has been my norm for years. For the last few days, I've been taking my blood pressure. This morning, my blood pressure was, hang on, I gotta look. This morning, my blood pressure was 116 over 78. And for the last week, it's been in normal range. I just, I thought that's my non-scale victory this week. You know, I need to write that down. My blood pressure is actually normal. It's crazy. So just a little tip I wanted to pass along to you guys. Maybe if you're not already doing it, I know a lot of you probably already have non-scale victories that y'all think of, but jot them down, keep them in a notebook. When that scale don't move and you're, you're not seeing your inches move, just go back and look at your non-scale victories just to give you some motivation and give you hope. Things are going in the right direction. And it is still a day-by-day -day journey, journey, you know. It took me all these years to get here and it's gonna take me a while to get it off. I guess before I totally melt down, I need to let you guys go because apparently this was not the best idea today when it's 90 degrees outside to try to make a video. Also, you can check and see if the chicken hawk was back. Of course, he hadn't come back and my babies are out roaming again. So I think they're safe again. <laughs> Until next time, guys, I will check in next Monday and let y'all know how my week has gone this week. But week 18, it wasn't that bad. And hey, one pound down, I'll take it. Hopefully next week, it'll be a little bit better. Till then, y'all have a great week. I will see y'all later. And I'm gonna have to go take another shower now. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.